As you continue to create and add new topics to your RoboHelp 9 project, you'll eventually want to think about getting them organized into a table of contents. That's what we're going to talk about now. A table of contents is typically made up of those little TOC books that you can double click to reveal additional books or maybe even topics. So we're going to start over here on the left hand side of our screen in the project manager pod and we're going to continue to work with our how to use lynda.com project that we've started here. Notice in the project manager pod there is a table of contents folder and when you click the plus sign to expand it, well look at that. A table of contents has actually already been created by default for you when you created the project. It uses the same name, how to use lynda.com and there it is in brackets the word default. It's your default table of contents. But you'll notice if you select it, really, nothing changes. The next pod over to the right is where you're going to see your TOC books. Now, there aren't any yet. We haven't created any. But this is where we go to create them, and they will be part of our default table of contents because it is selected here. Let's start, though, by renaming this. You could right-click and choose Rename, or with it already selected, just click again, and you're inside the text where you can start making changes. I'd rather call this how to use lynda.com help and press enter. So that's the name of the table of contents itself. The books inside the table of contents. Well, this is where we do it. Let's go up to the first button on the toolbar here in this pod. You'll see new TOC book. Give it a click and you're ready to start creating your first TOC book. The book title goes in here where the cursor's flashing. Here's a typical one. How about getting started? So we'll have maybe a few topics in here about getting started with how to use lynda.com. And you'll notice there is a checkbox here to create a book with link. We don't want to select that if we're thinking about having more than one topic be part of this particular TOC book. If you did want it to relate to a single topic, you could then click the checkbox and link to one of the topics that appears down below. But let's deselect it so that it's not actually linked to any specific topic and we can add more than one if we need to. So with it deselected, we'll click OK. And there's our first TOC book called Getting Started. Let's add some more now. We'll add another one here by clicking the button and we'll simply type in the name, how about Navigation? Or Navigating the UI. And when you click OK, you have a second book. Notice that there are some typos in here, and it actually shows you with that red squiggly line. And just like we did with the name of our table of contents, with it selected, we can click again to get inside and make any changes necessary. And then just click outside to fix that up and save your changes. Let's add another book now. This time we'll type in browsing. There we go. Let's add another one. Let's call this one getting to no LDC and click OK. And then you realize really that doesn't fit and it doesn't look right anyway. With it selected, you can click any TOC book and just hit your delete key on the keyboard to remove it. Simple as that. Now there are some other buttons that you'll notice up here in the toolbar. We're going to talk about creating pages in the next lesson, but we also have these little arrows that allow us to manipulate the actual books themselves. So for example, if we want to change the order, put browsing ahead, which is bump it up with it selected right to the top. No, let's go down one. Or maybe actually browsing should be a book inside the navigating the UI TOC book. So let's move it back down and we'll click the right arrow. Notice it becomes a nested TOC book. It's part of the navigating the UI. Perfect. Let's go up to navigating the UI. Click once, then click again to get inside. We should really be clearer here. Navigating the user interface and then just click outside to save that. There we go. Now it's starting to take shape. It's always a good idea to click the Save button or the Save All button to save any changes you've made to your project. So we start to create our TOC books here. In the next lesson, let's talk about how we get pages and topics into those TOC books.